Okay, I've been asked about the oil furnace. If you're trying to install a thermostat that requires a separate power source, something like uh, I think the Nest does and a lot of the Wi-Fi thermostats do, um, and it's on an oil furnace, and you have the two-wire primary control. Now, here's your primary control right there. It has its own power source inside. And it's not a big enough power source to power anything except itself. So you just have the two wires right here going up to the thermostat. Okay, to identify which wires are which, it'll usually say something like TT or something like that. Uh, that are the thermostat wires and there will only be two. So if you're trying to run this with a separate power source, number one you're going to have to come up with a transformer. You're going to have to set up a separate transformer uh, to operate the other parts and you're going to have to isolate this uh, these two TT terminals. And I'm going to show you one way that you can isolate uh, these terminals and at the same time provide power uh, for a thermostat that needs both an R and a common. Okay, this is going to be one way of solving this problem. I'm just taking a transformer that's mounted on a 4x4 plate and I'm going to put it on the furnace uh, so there's power to it here this is 120 volt side all the time and I'll have 24 volts coming out of there and then I'll show you how I wire that here I'm showing you this little relay and this gives you a little diagram right there so the coil is between 3 and 1 and it's a single pole single throw so between 4 and 2 we have a switch so I'm going to use terminals 4 and 2 so I look here There's a 2 right there and a 4 right there. And a 1 and 3 are right here. So I'm going to put, uh, my power is going to energize the relay here. And this is what I'm switching. And I'll be showing you how this actually works as we go. Okay. You can see here the relay is mounted. This is using... Uh, the relay I showed earlier, we usually call it a peanut relay because it's a low power relay. Uh, it's okay. Uh, you know, uh, there's any number of relays you could use, but it has to have a 24 volt coil. Okay, what I'm going to do is change the thermostat wiring so that it'll work with uh, the relay. Okay, the first operation of this is complete, and what I've done is, if you look down here, these are the wires that came from the thermostat, and they came down to here. I have wired them to number two to number four on the relay. So they're mounted on the normally open switch, so that when I energize this relay, it's going to turn on the oil furnace. Now it's completely isolated at this point. Okay, what I've done here, now we're starting to look like spaghetti. I've come up from the transformer, which is down below, and I got two wires going to it. One, I've used the white as a common wire that goes to uh, the coil of the relay. 
And I've also got, from that white coming to here, I've also got a common going up to the thermostat. Now this is where we're going to get the common going to the thermostat. And I've used blue because that's what I've got. I've got a, a green, I've got a yellow, I've got a white. Uh, and all of those are going to be for other things. So, uh, or could be used for other things. So I'm going to use the blue for common. So it's feeding the coil of this relay. And it's going up to the thermostat to supply a common to the thermostat. Okay. Now I've taken the red off of the transformer. And this is the power that's going to go up to the thermostat. Okay. Okay. Now I've completed the wiring. The red's going up to the thermostat. It comes back on a call for heat to white, which energizes this relay. Now in this case, I have wrapped the uh, wires that I'm not using around the standing part of it just to get them out of the way. Uh, so let's go over this thing in a sequence. On a call for heat, power passes from red up to the thermostat through the closed thermostat contact, heat contacts, to energize this relay. When the relay energizes, that closes between 2 and 4 on this relay, which goes down to the uh, TT terminals on the CAD cell relay. So this completely isolates the CAD cell relay, which is down here, from the transformer, which I've got the uh, wires coming up the transformer here, and going up to the thermostat and coming back down. That will completely isolate it. Now there are other ways to isolate and I'll do other videos on that. Uh, but this is one of the ways that you can isolate because you need uh, a common wire at the thermostat.